Welcome back boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about the Ottawa. The Ottawa is the third tribe of the three fires. So you learned about the Ojibwa and you learned about the Potawatomi and today you're going to learn about the Ottawa. And notice right here it is spelled two different ways. O-D-A-W-A -A or O-T-T-A-W-A. -A. You will see both. Okay so going down here we want to do the same thing that we have been doing. We want to color code these questions. Makes it much easier as we're going through the reading when we color code our questions. All right, so where did they live in Michigan? Again, that will be yellow. What were the houses like? That will be orange. So anything up in that article about the houses, you will be highlighting orange. What did they eat? That is red. What did they eat is red. Make sure you're color coding your sheet too. You should be on a split screen or have this printed out. Next, what was special about them is pink. What was special about them? Oops. Uh-oh, looks like it got erased. Must have clicked something on accident. Recolor that in. There we go. And last, what did they make? All of these tribes were known for something and had special special skills. Kind of ties in with our wants and needs, how communities have things that other communities need. All right, so now that we have that highlighted, we're gonna go up here and read. Now I am not gonna highlight any text today. You are gonna do the highlighting. I will read this to you once, and then you're going to read it on your own, and you're gonna highlight like we did the other two, and you're gonna fill in your graphic organizer. We've done two of these together, so I fully expect that you are able to do this one on your own. The Ottawa. The Ottawa, or Ottawa, lived along the eastern shores of Lake Michigan. They were known for being excellent traders. They used bark canoes to travel hundreds of miles in order to trade goods. The Ottawa lived in villages. Their houses were small oval buildings called wigwams or longhouses, which were like apartment buildings in which several families live. They often built log walls around their villages for protection. They hunted and fished and sometimes farmed. They made sugar from maple sap. They were known for being good, very good weavers and wove beautiful mats, bags, and baskets. One of their most famous leaders was Chief Pontiac. All right, boys and girls, remember you're gonna do multiple reads, use the information in that article to fill in your data collection sheet and make sure you get that back to your teacher.